Here I am with the Bamboo Lab AMS and the Creality CFS. I'm going to talk to you about one design mistake in the Bamboo Lab AMS that Creality has solved with the CFS. You'll notice I call it a design mistake, not a design failure. That is because the AMS has been out for several years now, making Bamboo Lab a pioneer in multi-material printing at home. It is thanks to the Bamboo Lab AMS that these mistakes were discovered and able to be improved upon by other companies such as Creality. Some of the components inside the Bamboo Lab AMS are just simply over-engineered and unnecessarily complex. Let's have a look at how Creality solved one of those problems with the AMS on their CFS. Here we are looking inside the Bamboo Lab AMS. What you are looking at here is a first stage feeder. This feeder has a funnel which guides the filament into that feeder, through its gears, out the Bowden tubes, and into the printer. What happens is this feeder can eventually wear out and develop a groove. That groove creates friction. That friction leads to motor overloads and printing failure. The problem here is rather than design this feeder funnel in such a way that it can be easily replaced, you instead have to go through a complex surgery to replace an entire component or replace the entire feeder itself. Let's have a quick peek at my video of that process to see how complicated it is. A worn AMS feeder has a notch in it like this. This lower section. Grab that piece. Let's go ahead and install the new one. Slide this little pin back into this little hole. And I'm going to push it down. Just give it a little flex and work it past. Remember that spring from earlier that this gear needs to mate with this gear and just kind of guide it into place and put that first screw back while pulling on that cable gently. All four screws. Each cable only fits. Slide it forward while bringing the rear down. And there it is. We have replaced the AMS feeder funnel. Here we are looking inside the Creality CFS. What you see here is that same feeder funnel as you saw on the AMS. You'll notice it looks very different. You can't even see the first stage feeders. They are underneath this platform right here. However, what you can see are the feeder funnels leading to those first stage feeders. Let's say you develop a groove in one of these feeders on the CFS and you need to replace it. On the AMS, you saw it's a complex process or a fairly expensive part replacement. However, here on the CFS, Creality has turned this process into a five second swap. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five. We've swapped the funnel on the CFS and can get back to work. 